Thank you for subscribing to the channel, it's much appreciated. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, it would be much appreciated. Thank you. Let me take you a second. Hit the notification bell as well. Um, right, what we want to talk to you about today is that 30% tax that Amazon KDP likes to take off most people living outside of the United States and maybe even those people in the United States. And what we can do about it. Do we have to pay it? Let's talk about it. Well, there's a thing called the double taxation. And it's an unfortunate kind of thing, really. Now, I've got a couple of qualifications in accountancy, but uh, my advice to you is that you seek an accountant because I don't know your circumstances. I can only give you some information on how I see it. And the rest is down to you. I don't know what your tax bracket is, what uh, before you actually start paying tax, um, what your business actually is. And while we're on that subject, you don't sell books. You actually get royalties from things you've already made. So that's the way to look at it. So when you're talking to an accountant, you're not a book seller. You're not a book publisher. You're living on royalties. You've made something, you've created something, but there's been no outlay. Well, unless you want there to be outlay, unless you want to say, well, okay, look, you know, it's cost me this much. I want to claim back my computer. Um, but whether you do that or not, you've only got so many things you can actually um, claim for because everything's print on demand while you're self-publishing. And if you give your book to a, um, a publisher, to publish it for you again you're living on royalties you've not actually you're not actually selling anything and that makes a difference to your accounts so bear that in mind when you speak to your accountant say i don't sell anything i live on my royalties and i get royalties from things i've already done but again that's the, the choice is yours um so what about this 30 percent tax well you if you've already agreed to that and you don't want that anymore so we go to your account you go to your tax information click on that you provide tax information continue without saving take the interview now you have to do this again you see your tax information has been validated if you need to provide updated information please click take interview all right okay we go through here individual yep whether I'm a business or not, I'm going to click individual. That's just my preference. Are you a US citizen? No. Are you acting as an intermediary, agent, or other purpose person receiving payment on behalf of another person, or as a flow-through entity? No. I have non-US TIN, or I have a US TIN. Well, I have a non-US TIN. Now, an EIN is an employer identification number. An individual tax identification number is the TIN. If you're in the UK, you can add, or if you have a national insurance number, or whatever tax code you have from another country, um, it could be your um, benefits tax code, or whatever it is. Uh, sorry, you might have that in Australia, for instance. Enter it here. So if a national insurance number, put it in there. That's your TIN value. And then continue. It's time to sign and submit. Now, a lot of countries don't have that relief. They don't give you the 30% off. They don't uh, make allowances for that. But it could be you may only get taxed 10% or 5%, depending on which country you're in. Now, I've been asked, can I claim that 30% back? Or do I have to pay tax on what's left? Unfortunately, it can be a bit of a job trying to claim that 30% back. And there's a thing called double taxation. And what that means is, let's say, for instance, you're in the UK or Australia, whatever country you're in, and you're allowed to earn so much before tax, so that it may be 10 or 12,000 or whatever it is, and anything after that you get taxed on. So let's say, for instance, you've got a job or a part-time job and you earn that 10,000. Let's keep it at 10,000. You earn that 10,000 after tax. And then, on top of that, you've now got another 5,000, which you earned through Amazon KDP for that year, let's just say, after they've taken the 30% tax off. That 5,000 
Now you've already had your 10,000 allowance, that 5,000 is now taxable. It's unfortunate being taxed twice, basically, and that's what they say, a double taxation. Now on the other side of things, if um, you can claim tax back, so let's say for instance you're not earning up to the allowance before tax, and you've just paid 3,000 in tax to Amazon. Now, you could claim that back. Your accountant will have to deal with that because you're now dealing with uh, an overseas entity and it's not going to be easy for you to try to claim some of that back, if not all of it, depending on how much you have earned besides that. It, if anything, if you've not earned anything, you may be able to claim the whole 30% back. And But that's down to your accountant to deal with. So it's not gone completely, but like I say, you have to declare it. You can't just say, okay, I've been taxed on that. Let's forget about it. It's going to my account. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Um, if I've earned £10,000 here and that's my limit before tax and I earn another ten or £20,000 on top of that, that ten or £20,000 is taxable. Even if I've paid... Even if it was um, 30000 I'd earned and they've taken 33% off or 30% off and I'm now down to 20000 that's still taxable. And it's unfortunate. It's um, it's just the way it is. But that's business, and that's the way things work. So there's not a lot you can do about that, unfortunately. But leave it to your accountant. Speak to your accountant about it. So whatever earnings you've, you've had, let him know. You do have to declare these earnings, even if they've been taxed, unfortunately. And, um, yeah, I hope that helps. Uh, it's, not, it's not the best sort of situation. Is it better to just... Um, let your accountant deal with the whole thing yeah I think so so if you can do away with that 30% if you can stop Amazon taking that 30% you may as well let your accountant deal with all of it you may be able to add a few things you may be able to say okay I'm putting this computer down I'm putting this table down I'm putting these chairs down I'm, I'm putting this whole office down um, my gas and electric at home my uh, power in an office if I'm renting one there may be things you can claim and then you're not going to really mess about having to try and get that money back from the US uh, before doing all that. Uh, it can be a bit of a nuisance. You might not get it back. This, these things can happen. It might be too much of an argument. So, yeah, I would recommend dealing with the tax yourself and not letting Amazon deal with it. So I hope that helps as well. And that's it.